My name is Emma and I am a grade 11 faculty student at All Saints. I'll be leading us in morning prayer today. Please join me. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Today's prayer was written by grade 12 faculty student, Amory Davidson. Did you know that we're still in the Easter season? Yes. Christmas celebrates the glory of Jesus' resurrection and the joy that, that reality still brings us for weeks after Easter. Easter lasts 50 days, an extra 10 days longer than Lent. Because our faith teaches us that suffering is only temporary, but joy is the point of the story. One of the last events we recounter during the Easter season is Jesus' ascension back to heaven. We'll hear the story of his ascension this Sunday at Mass. His glorious resurrection. Jesus spent time with his followers on earth, preparing them to become the church and to spread the good news that death had been conquered once and for all. At his ascension, Jesus returned to be with his Father in heaven, promising that the disciples will never be alone in this great mission of discipleship because he will send them help. That help was and is the Holy Spirit. We hear in Mark's Gospel that the Lord Jesus, after he had spoken to them, was taken up into heaven and sat down at the right hand of God and the disciples went out and proclaimed the good news everywhere while the Lord worked with them. These disciples spread this good news to the ends of the earth, inspiring others to join their mission. Here we are today, centuries later, still being called to this very mission of telling the world of God's great love of his people. Let us pray for the confidence and ability to take on this mission, this mission in our world today. Dear Lord, before your ascension into heaven, you told your apostles to be witnesses to the faith to the ends of the earth after they had received the Holy Spirit. May I be similarly inspired to spread the news of your message of love in word and in deed, according to your will for me and my brothers and sisters, and may I do so prudently and joyfully with your help, your guidance, and your grace. In remembering this glorious event, help me to seek what you seek for us. Amen. All saints, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. This is a message for the members of the Eco Team. This is a reminder that we will be meeting today at 2.15 on Teams. Please SB message Ms. Duncan if you are unable to attend. Hope to see you there. Those are all of your morning announcements, Titans. Have a wonderful day.